In this video guys, I'd like to show you how you can create size variations for your WooCommerce products and also how to display them nicely. And for example, let's say that we have this WooCommerce store and let's say that we, we would like to add sizes to this t-shirt product, right? For example, if you just go here, we can see that it is just a simple product and we cannot select size over here. Let's change that. First of all, let's go to attributes right here and let's create a new attribute. Let's say it's going to be size, right? Okay, now our attribute is created and we need to add sizes. So we just go to configure terms and let's say that we have like small size, uh, medium and large. For example, that's enough for our example right here, yes. And let's now go back to our specific product, which is too short. And we need to add sizes over here. So we go to attributes and we need to add a new attribute. In order to do so, let's just click here and select size from here. And we can select some specific sizes or just hit this select all button on that save attributes, but it is not enough guys. We need to make this simple product a variable product. Then we can select these sizes before adding this product to the cart. And let's just select variable product from here. Then we go to attributes, size, and we need also to check this checkbox guys. Then save changes. Then we go to variations, right? And then you can add variations or generate variations uh, the way you like. Let's say, let's say that we would like to, create, to make them created automatically. So I'm just going to click here and we can see that our sizes are now appeared as product variations. And for example, let's say that our large size is going to be a little bit more expensive. For example, our product um, price is I don't remember, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's say that our large size is going to be this price. Our medium size is going to be this price. And the small size is going to be the same. On that, save changes. Hit update. Go back to our product over here. And you can see that now we can select sizes and add a specific size to the cart, right? But what about uh, displaying them more nicely, let's say, yes? Uh, in order to do so, I'm just gonna use a plugin. So I'm gonna ba go back to the admin dashboard, then to plugins. And uh, the plugin I'm going to use is uh, my own plugin, which I created, which is simple variation swatches. And then I just go to the attributes once again, go to this sizes attribute and click this edit link. And now we can select how this uh, attribute is going to be displayed on the product page. For example, we can select uh, radio buttons or labels. Let's start with the radio buttons. So is, if I just select it right here and then I go back to our t-shirt product and you can see now that our sizes is displayed like this. And also let's uh, go back to the attributes page one more time and change this uh, attribute type to labels. All right, update, then go back to attributes. Then we go to specific terms and let's configure labels. For example, this is a large size. Yes, let's say it's gonna be L. Okay, go back here, medium size, M, update, back to sizes, small size, S, update, and now we can go to products, to t-shirt, and here we go. Now our sizes are displayed very nicely, right? And I can add a specific size to the cart just like this. 
that's pretty much it guys i will leave a link down to my plugin in the description below and if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment section i will reply to all of them on that have a nice day